Okay, so today I wanted to talk about possibility. And possibility in organizing is very strange. I am one of those people that sees possibility in everything. And I see it everywhere I go. And what if this was different? And what can we do with that? I just see that kind of naturally. And then I started working with my clients and I realized that some of them don't see possibility at all. They have a really hard time imagining if it's not spelled out, this is what happens. This is how it happens. This is the order it happens in. Um, and so I've been exploring a little bit about what, what makes that happen. And we all have different mental models and we all have different um, operating systems, how our brains process the information. So we bring our experience and we bring how we, um, how we process information to the table when we want to organize. And so the same solution doesn't work for everybody, but knowing how to figure out what's possible and having enough kind of risk tolerance to try something without knowing for sure it's going to work can make all the difference when it comes to organizing, um, organizing success. And not only that, but possibility isn't just how to organize, but what happens on the other side of getting organized? What possibilities open up for you if you no longer have to spend all that time looking for the things you need to do the thing you need to do? What if, um, you know, just knowing where your keys are allow you to get to the car on time to get the kids to school on time so that you have time to take an extra class? or take on an extra client, or relax. What happens when the little things add up to bigger things, bigger opportunities, possibilities, right? And what happens when our imagination is in overdrive? What if it's the other end of the spectrum? What if you see possibilities so often and everywhere that you have a hard time focusing on anything to get it done? Which is what happens to me. <laughs> So many things, so little time. If I knew I had unlimited time and unlimited resources and that I wouldn't miss out on something, it would be very easy. I would just pick up the next one and finish it and then pick up the next one and finish it. But once you start factoring in all those other resources that might be limited, it becomes much harder to decide which one to work on next. And that can cause time backup. It can cause lots of unfinished projects. It can cause lots of clutter that is for projects that you can't even start because you're having a hard time deciding when is the appropriate time to make it happen. So just so you know, that's the one I struggle with. The too many possibilities. Possibilities works both ways. Too many possibilities, not enough possibilities. Um, so work on your imagination. Work on experience expanding your risk tolerance. What are some little things that, what, what's the possibilities? Maybe if I make pancakes and I put chocolate chips in them this weekend, instead of just straight up pancakes, what will that change for me? That's a possibility. Is that a risk I'm willing to take so that I can see what else might happen? Um, all those little opportunities to actually take an action that has been holding you back a little bit. Right. So and what can you let go of? What possibilities can be let go of? Are you ever really going to paint that thing? Are you ever going to write the great American novel or are you just going to write articles and blog posts? Are you ever going to really um, have those grandkids? It's not actually up to you. So maybe you could let go of the stuff you were hanging on to for your grandkids. Um, see where I'm going with that? All the different possibilities can either be keeping you from starting or finishing can keep you from letting go or um, using the things in, in an appropriate manner. So just start exploring. I love to just get you thinking, what can you do that gets the possibilities done or broadens your horizons by seeing something else that's possible on the other side of that? What I'd love to hear what your holdup is. Is it too many options or not enough options? What do you think? Are you playing small or playing too big? And I don't think there's anything ever that can keep you from playing too big in terms of how great you are in the world and how you interact with the world, but you might be trying to take on too many projects 
or uh, take care of too many other people for the resources you have in terms of time, energy, and money. money. So just take a look at it. Let me know what you think might be holding you up and I'll give some solutions and some suggestions. But possibility from both ends, too much, not enough. How do you explore that? Imagination. Always imagination. Try it on for size, just in your own head. What could possibly happen? What's the worst that could happen? What might get to happen? All those kinds of questions can help you break through your problem with possibility into a more organized and productive life. All right. Let me know. See you next week. Bye.